हेलो फ्रेंड्स रीजनिंग टाइप क्वेश्चन लेट सी व्हाट्स द क्वेश्चन एंड व्हाट्स द एक्सप्लेनेशन हाइपोक्सिया लीड्स टू रिफ्लेक्स टैकिकार्डिया एक्सप्लेन व्हाई नाउ इन सम प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव सेड दिस दैट वेरी ऑफन द स्टूडेंट्स एंड अप राइटिंग द लॉजिक बिहाइंड दैट सेंटेंस बट व्हाट इज आस्ट इज द एक्सप्लेनेशन सो लेट्स सी बोथ लॉजिक एज वेल एज एक्सप्लेनेशन लुक हाइपोक्सिया मींस a reduced oxygen supply to the tissues yes of course and as a compensatory mechanism uh, the heart rate increases so that the cardiac output will increase and more blood will be supplied to the tissues as a compensatory mechanism this is a logic but the question is asking you to explain the mechanism behind it let's see what's the mechanism uh hypoxia leads to reflex tachycardia by a secondary reflex so there's going to be a primary reflex and there will be a secondary reflex let's see what is the reflex uh, hypoxia will be sensed by the peripheral chemoreceptors we all know that carotid bodies aortic bodies they uh, sense the hypoxia and they then generate the signals and send the signals uh, via 9th and 10th cranial nerves to the respiratory center in the medulla and then uh there will be this is the primary reflex where ventilation is stimulated obviously there is hypoxia so ventilation uh, getting stimulated is quite uh, logical yeah and that's the mechanism for the primary reflex ventilation got stimulated now as the ventilation is stimulated rate and depth of breathing has increased there is a greater movement of the thoracic cage and the lungs and then there is a secondary reflex because of this greater movement of the thoracic cage uh, there will be stimulation of the stretch receptors in the thoracic cage and there will be signals generated from the stretch receptors of the thoracic cage this is a secondary reflex afferent signals will be sent via the vagal fibers the afferent vagal fibers this time the signals are sent again back to the medulla this time it's to the vasomotor center in the medulla so vasomotor center receives the signals from the thoracic cage and there would be inhibition of the vagal efferent center dorsal motor nucleus of the vagus uh, will be inhibited so vagal motor fibers efferent fibers uh, are inhibited these fibers were going to the heart vagus parasympathetic nerve it is inhibitory to the heart if it is inhibited i mean inhibitory signals are stopped going to the heart that means there will be excitation via sympathetic fibers they are balancing each other so now no inhibition that means there would be excitation by the sympathetic fibers resulting in tachycardia so remember hypoxia resulting in tachycardia is a secondary reflex and this is the mechanism behind it we discuss such questions on a regular basis so if you are still not subscribed to the channel do subscribe now